In this video, we're going to open a coffee shop. So we're going to design a logo, a website, business cards. And also we'll have a look how we can actually pick the furniture. We can put some wall art and the neon sign and so on. So Mid Journey will allow you to do things very fast. So if you're looking for an interior designer or whatever, or some wall art, your logo, your website, Mid Journey can help you really with that. And I will show you how it works. Because the video with the logo design and the website design was very popular, I wanted to do something else in this area. So again, we're going to design a simple logo for a coffee shop. Then we're going to transform it or use it in our web design. And then I will show you how to also, if you need some ideas, what furniture to buy, what pictures to hang and so on, how you can also use Mid Journey to do that. So let's get started. Like always, we begin with Imagine. And now we're going to design a simple logo for a coffee shop again. If you've seen the other video, you know already some of the commands. If not, it's not a problem. So I would just type in simple logo clean and then we can type coffee shop coffee shop and then i would always suggest to have white background because it's much easier to take out than later on into a different program so let's see what comes up here what versions mid journey will create for us and then i will show you how you can take this versions actually and import them or export them first and then import them and then use them in different tools and modify them because you will see that the problem with mid journey is if it creates logos you can't really use the text mid journey is very bad in using text I also used to tell mid journey or try to tell mid journey that it shouldn't use text in the image but it was not possible so if you see here if you make it bigger it's pretty nice logos already, I would say. And as you remember, if you want to have some more versions, I will just click here. If I prefer one of the versions, so let's say this, it would be my favorite version here. This would be number one, two, three, and four. So if I want to make that bigger, I would upscale number three. If I want to have some more versions of number three, I will just click here and make new versions. We can do that and I can change the prompt in here if I want to, but I will just leave it like it is for now. And it will generate four more versions of version number three for me. In the meantime, we can do some other stuff. So I will just show you what we can do. Also make some variations maybe so we can implement some other words, let's say vector vector flat 3d and then again coffee shop logo clean and then we just say white background white background and i also want to show you this logo without the white background so you see what i'm talking about it gets uh, the variations are nicer sometimes because mid journey are putting these logos on interesting objects but it's really hard to take it out if you need it so let's see what we created here this as you see are four more versions of version number three that we had before also here very nice it already made some coffee cups for us it made some kind of business cards down there so really nice variations here here we get some new variations. You see with the other style, this would be the 3D, the vector, and so on. So it's a little different style. I also like it. It's nice. And the last one would be without the white background. And this is also fine, but it can be pretty hard to take, for example, these first two versions out here and import it into a program that you want to work with. So now what you're going to do if you want to pick a logo, first of all, I would suggest to 
upscale the logo if you decide you want to use one of them. So let's just click into our first versions maybe, or let's just take this ones, and then let's decide we want to take logo number one, which would be this one here. I'm gonna upscale number one, and then we will take it out later and use it into Canvas. And I will continue here. The next step would be now to generate also maybe some business cards. So you could go ahead and type in imagine. You could say business cards. And again, coffee shop, coffee shop, clean style, white background, and just try what comes out. If you want to have any of your existing logos or any of your existing images inside of these business cards, we could try to just use this one, which is just upscale now, and you would click on it. You will copy the media link down here. And what we can try is we go again inside and say, imagine. We have the image link now, but now we, we write business cards, clean style, white background. And we will see if it has an impact. So Midjourney should try now to use the image and put it in the card in any way. So here you see you have also nice variations of business cards. So this can help you again. You have now the logo, you have now some variations of business cards and at least you could give these ideas to a designer and you could re uh, you could remodel them so regenerate them as long as you need to find a version that you like and this like i said before was the version we upscaled this is very easy now to take into photoshop or to take into some other program like canvas or so to cut it out and use this in a business card. We can do that. We can just go ahead and save it. Then you could just go over to Canvas. Then you could just go over to Canvas. And what I did in here, in this case, I already typed in business card coffee. And you see these business cards come up. So if we would like to use this business card, for example, we could use it. And then you would just go here to upload, upload file, photo library, take our image, add it here. Then it starts uploading here already. And then you can simply take it. I would remove this one and you can just drag and drop it over here. The problem, oh, it's not really a problem, but as you see here, you have now this gray background. You could leave it, you could make your business card gray by just adding, for example, another gray element here. You would just click on here, you would pick this one, you would put it here. Then you would take a look at the gray, which will be indicated. You just take it and fill it. And this one you just take in front position and forward. So this will be always in front. And then you just go ahead and fill this. And you have to find the right, the right gray here. You see it's not really matching. But what I uh, would recommend is to click on it, edit image, and then you remove the background. And most of the time, Canvas will do a pretty good job in doing this. Sometimes the results are not so good. If this is the case, I would recommend to go and find another online program to do that. But you see, it's pretty good. So you see here now it has got a transparent background. So I can just move it here if I want to, or I can leave it in the middle. And yeah, let's leave it in the middle. And this I can just change to our coffee shop. And the problem, what you have here, you have the, the text now that you don't want. What you could do is just make it like, like that if you just want to use this bean and the flower in the middle. But if you don't want to use it like that, you could just cover it. And you would just make these different pieces here and you know just cover it up. It's not very professional, unfortunately. So it's probably better to go into Photoshop or whatever and 
remove it and use it like that. So let's go back to mid-journey and the next thing would be to generate a website again. And the website again would be that we type in imagine. We would ju just type beautiful, beautiful website for a coffee shop, coffee shop. And here, as you remember, maybe in one of the last videos, we would put in UI slash UX and again, UX, UX, UI to make sure. And then we can also make it clean, modern, maybe, maybe look a little organic and simple. Okay, let's see what comes up. So as you see, it already created our website and I think they are pretty good. I like this one, the second one with the wooden cup here. And of course, the organic did have a big impact on the image generation. So if I want to use this one and work with the second one, basically, which is this one with the wooden cup or however you want to call it, I go ahead and make more versions of it because I want to see if it actually can give me more interesting ideas. So I would just go ahead, pick the version number two and make four more variation. And I get four more variation because in my settings, I have the remix mode enabled here if you wonder why that is. Otherwise, it's possible that you just get one new version. But with the remix mode, I get four more versions and I'm getting this even better versions, I would say. So I really like the first and the third version, I would also say, but the first version is a little cleaner. So I would just go ahead and upscale number one and I will take that. And with the website, of course, it's a little more difficult to get the design out of it. You could give it to a designer to slice it for you, to put it in a special program, to get the HTML or, or everything you need to make it a website. So there are some AI tools already out there that we're going to take a look in some of the next videos that will help you to make your website much easier. In this case, I would just suggest here to download this upscaled version of the website, then we will go back to uh, image editing program. If you don't have any, I would recommend to, to use Canvas or whatever. Put the website in and then basically put on your logo. And in this case, if you want to use it as a website, I would strongly recommend to give it to some designer or some programmer that can help you to make a WordPress or whatever template out of that. So I think this is pretty good. And this is the main content for the day. I want to give you some more ideas. So if you're not sure how you will go about the interior design of the furniture in your coffee shop, you could ask Mid Journey to give you some ideas. So image prompt here again. So we would say interior design, let's say modern coffee shop and see what Mid Journey comes up. And we can also type in Imagine, let's say you are not sure what images to hang. Let's say wall art, modern coffee shop. And one more, let's do neon sign, neon sign outside, modern coffee shop. So let's look what was generated. First of all, this was the interior design or no, this is the wall art already the interior design is this one and i think it is pretty good so if you need some ideas you can see that you can use mid journey to generate some interesting interior designs for you this will be the wall art which are also pretty much like gives you a, a good idea how it could look like if you don't have any ideas and this would be the neon sign this is generating here will also give you a pretty good idea what you can do and how it could look like. So I hope that was useful. And always remember, you could try to use the image source. So the logo or whatever you created before to put into the mid journey image creation by just putting in the link of the image. But mid journey is not very good in 
recognizing this? Are you really using it in a way that is useful for us? I hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe. I see you in the next video. All the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.